And I looked over there like, man, that's slick. Let me weld with your machine. So we'd swap stingers. The best tip that I have for you to help you put on a slicker cap on your, on your pipeline work, on your downhill pipe welding, is to buy a miller. No, I'm kidding. But honestly, there is some truth to the fact that these newer, uh, uh, I'll just name three different millers compared to like a machine like this one. Your Miller 304, Miller 350, or really even Miller 300, Miller 350, and the new 400. That's the newest one I know about. They're all, I believe all those are diesels. All three of those are, um, they've done a lot of work in the insides of the machines and they, they do, they are set up to uh, help you weld better, if you will. As to where like a machine like mine, I have to do a lot of manipulating the, the puddle. Those millers, they have stuff built into them. It's way over my head, I don't know how to explain it, but they have stuff built into them that, that keeps uh, your puddle more in control, if you will. I say all this lightly because I do not, I am not telling you to go buy a miller. I actually encourage uh, welding with like an SA200, learning on an SA200 and learning how to manipulate a welding rod because you can go buy a $20,000 miller and it may not matter, let me tell you why. Whenever I was pipelining, I'd be brother-in-law with somebody and I'd look over there, they'd be welding with a miller per se, or a uh, 200D. Uh, for those of you who don't know, no, a 200D is known to be a slick welding, slick welding machine. And so are them uh, millers. And Lincoln, Lincoln's got some too. Your cross country, your uh, Vantage as well is pretty slick. But if there's one thing that I learned, and this really, this isn't my biggest, best tip, those are coming soon, but um, if there's one thing I've learned through the seven or eight years that I pipeline welded, is the machine may help you, but it does not define a good weld. It will not weld, it will not make you a slick welder. Back to the story. This happened numerous times. I was either brother-in-lawing a piece of pipe, in other words, I was, I was welding this side of the pipe, and my brother-in-law, my welding partner, was welding the other side of the pipe. And I looked over there like, man, that's slick. Let me weld with your machine. So we'd swap stingers. And uh, I would try to do what, what they did, and, and it didn't, didn't work. I quickly realized it looked the same as my machine. Let me just say that. And what he put on with my machine looked like what he put on with his machine. So the moral to the story is, is like we say on the pipeline, it's from the shoulder to the holder. It's all in the hood time, in the experience, how much time you have studying this puddle. I, I can tell when I'm welding with a miller that, uh, that, that the puddle is acting better, like I'm not having to fight it as much, but there's little habits I can see in every part of my weld that are right here so anyway if you're new to the channel thank you for being here my name is austin ross i've been a welder for about 15 years and for seven or eight of those years i was a pipeline welder and uh here on this channel i just share tips and tricks to help others grow go further faster i took that saying from andy stanley by the way i've been listening to andy stanley podcast and it's stuck in my head go further faster but that's literally our goal here is to to share tips and tricks. That's why we're building the courses. We built the pipe fence course. We're building another course this year that's hopefully gonna be available at some point this year. All that to say, our goal, my wife and I, my wife and I run this YouTube channel. Our goal is to, is to help you learn what I've learned in 15 years, essentially. Like, that's why I'm sharing all these little things in hopes that it helps you uh, just progress faster, progress faster. If you are interested in when the next pipe fence course is gonna open for enrollment or is going to be open for enrollment, or if you wanna get notified whenever we launch our next online course, you can text TRADE SCHOOL to 
or you can go to our website arosswelding.com and get on our email list by doing either one of those two things you will get either an email or a text whenever a new course comes out or the pipe fence course is available you can also text any questions that you may have to that same phone number so my number one tip comes in the prep sometimes on pipeline work you have control of this sometimes you don't if you're on fabrication work you usually have control of your spacing so I mentioned this in the last couple of videos of this series but it's a big deal when it comes to the cap so the bigger space that you take on your on your bead the first pass the wider your cap is going to be and the more difficult it's going to be to cap your your weld look who it is waking up from her nap number two is consistency this was also a tip from previous videos but that's because as long as you're focused on putting the same amount of metal in the pipe all the way around in other words if you're going to fill up the top fill up the side and fill up the bottom before you cap because that's going to determine how your how your cap goes so prep your space of your bead just keep that in mind and then consistency and then leaving a line whenever you put your filler in try to leave your edges of your bevel that way you have something to follow and lastly as you can see here actually this isn't my last tip this is one more tip before my last tip leave it a little bit low on the top that way because on the very top that's where most of your metal uh, built up at because you're essentially welding flat so it doesn't take much to put metal in the top uh, but lastly my best piece of advice for practicing your cap is hood time practice 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 there's no such thing as too much practice and I'm gonna rob a tip from my hot pass video is slow down turn it down and slow down if you're having trouble on your cap that way you can and we're going fairly slow here my machines turned down that way I have time to react to my puddle and learn what I need to do that speed will come with time don't get me wrong a good little fun quote-unquote race with your uh, welding partner and stuff actually helps you also get better kind of faster but I never want to encourage you to not have fun while you're practicing welding pipe there's nothing wrong with a good challenge and that can help you get better also but if you're literally just starting out, like you haven't made one pipe weld ever in your life and, and you're practicing these things, just maybe turn it down and slow down to, to practice those motions. Especially if you're at home practicing by yourself or if you're uh, in a welding school somewhere and you're in your booth, take your time practicing. Don't race yourself, don't try to be fast. Uh, but if, if you know you've been through welding school and and you're still trying to, to get quick or get better make slicker caps and you do happen to get on a pipeline job or something or any any job that's pipe work by the way there's more than just pipeline work that's pipe work there's tons of pipe work in the world is what I'm saying not just pipeline work uh, if you do find yourself on a pipe welding job and you have the opportunity to or you have the opportunity to try to go faster or or your foreman or boss is encouraging you to go fast because of production, take that challenge if you feel comfortable doing it because that'll, depending on who you are, sometimes pressure might help you get better. You just learn a little faster, right? So there's nothing wrong with going fast, but I guess I'm mostly speaking to those of you that are that are green green and uh, just looking for some confidence building. And uh, cause I mean, I still do it to this day. I still slow down and try to learn things, especially when, it go, when I go to uh, sharing it with with you I have to slow down and think about what I'm doing to be able to to teach it so uh, slowing down is never a bad thing in my opinion so 
I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for being here. Hope you have an awesome weekend. Don't forget to check out our website, arosswelding.com, for more helpful resources. Or if you want to get notified whenever we launch new things around here online, new courses, uh, want to get notified whenever we open enrollment for the pipe fence course, you can text the word trade school to 405 643 7176, or you can go to arosswelding.com and get on our email list. Either way, you'll be in the know on what we have going on. Thanks for your support, and remember, learn something every day.